has been six months since I have designed the Arduino Pro Micro and during this time I have extensively explored its capabilities by interfacing it with various sensors and breakout boards. I have had the pleasure of working with a range of modules including the PN53 to NFC RFID module, the MLX9614 non-contact infrared temperature sensor and the R557 capacitor fingerprint module. So far, this journey has been quite rewarding and I'm generally satisfied with the experiments and tests I have conducted. However, before considering the Arduino Pro Micro for integration into real-world products, I feel it's essential to subject it to further testing with additional modules. The Arduino Pro Micro has proven to be a versatile and reliable platform but thorough testing with a variety of modules will help ensure its compatibility and performance in a wider range of applications. Stay tuned as we continue to explore and expand the possibilities of this remarkable microcontroller board. Your support and feedback are invaluable in shaping the future of our projects. Anyway, next in this series, I'm going to use HC05 or HC06 Bluetooth module with the Arduino Pro Micro for controlling 110 or 220 volt AC loads using my custom designed Android smartphone application designed in Android Studio. You can watch my video on Android application designing if you want to make a similar Android application. You can also watch my video on how to design yourself an Arduino Pro Micro using Ultium Designer. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. Anyway, you can see I have connected a 4-channel relay module, HC05 Bluetooth module, and for the demonstration purposes, I have connected these 220 volt AC bulbs. I'm using my designed 5 volt and 3 amps power supply to power up the Arduino Pro Micro. Everything looks good, and now let's power up the project. With the 110 or 220 volt AC supplies connected, never touch the relay contacts as it can be dangerous. So, as far as possible, wear protective gloves and perform such high voltage experiments in the presence of a companion or someone having basic knowledge of the electrical systems. Now, all you need is to take out your cell phone, pair your smartphone's Bluetooth with the HC05 Bluetooth module. Then open the Android application, search for the peer device. Click connect and start controlling anything you want. As expected, Arduino Pro Micro also works exceptionally well with the Bluetooth module. By adding this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply, Arduino Pro Micro, Bluetooth module, and the four relays on a single PCB, an amazing end user product can be designed. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the connections. Four relays are connected to the Arduino Pro Micro digital pins 4, 5, 6, and 7. Connect the TX and RX pins of the HC05 Bluetooth module to the Arduino Pro Micro RX and TX pins respectively. For the Arduino Pro Micro designing, making and for burning the bootloader, watch my first video on the Arduino Pro Micro. Check link in the description down below. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. I started off by adding the Arduino.h header file. Next, I defined pins for all the four relays which are connected to the Arduino Pro Micro pins 4, 5, 6 and 7. Next, I defined a serial port for the HC05 Bluetooth module. In the white setup function, I activated the serial communication and set all the four loads as output. Now, let's go to the loop function. 
that runs repeatedly. Inside the loop function, I defined a variable of the type string that I'm going to use for storing the string which I'm going to receive from the Bluetooth module. This line means if data is available on the serial port, it's the data that is sent from the Android application. So if data is available on the serial port, then read the complete line and store it in the variable. From the Android application, I'm only going to send the numbers and when these numbers are received by the Arduino, these are stored as a string. So that's why I'm converting it back into integer. And then these are F conditions to check the numbers. Each number is used to turn on and turn off a specific load. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.